There, there's some hopeful news for me and for the Superman fans out Uh-oh, there. Uh-oh, what do you got, Billy? That's me. Good. Uh, so, well, a report came out, and I can't remember who did it, but they were saying that Henry Cavill is demanding Come back? script. Oh, demanding. He's director demanding. and to be a producer on Man of Steel 2. Right? That's, that's what he's been asking for. That's, so that's what he's been asking okay, for. This report comes that's out been and the says, hiccup. yeah, he's going to do this. And, and Warner Brothers is like, holy shit. And then Frosty goes, hold on a minute. Yeah. And goes and checks and says it's it's absolutely not true mm. oh. from the sources. But all this smoke, come on, Man of Steel two is could be happening. Well, Sounds like but it's, he just said it's, well, I guess we don't know if it's true or not. Yeah, that there's the, but it's all leading to negotiations. Right. If you're Henry Cavill and you've now seen, I wouldn't be sitting here. I'll tell you that. All right. I, I thought I saw him yesterday uh, when I was out to dinner. And He's I was, like six eight. I was flipping out. Yeah, and I turned huge. to my friend. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And you know I'm blind as a bat. Yeah. I was like, that's Henry Cavill. That's Henry Cavill. And he turned around and goes, Shh. It was that, Alex. That is not Henry. It's just a random guy. It's a random guy. <laughs> I was literally freaking out. I was like, I can't believe Henry Cavill. Right. Like, that's right. He was like, it's just not him. No, it's not him. Uh, I think if you're, if you're Henry Cavill, then you're looking at the success of Aquaman. Yeah. Yes. You know that we've got... Wonder Woman, everybody loves uh, Shazam. Maybe he has, maybe he has not screened it, but probably has faith in the movie. And he's looking towards the future and probably thinking like, "Holy crap, I'm Superman! This could last a long time if this franchise is going to continue the way it's going." However, I was slightly burned in the past, and I want, I want say in right. what's going on, and also more money. Which, yeah. Well, how do you get that by being a producer? Yeah, I mean that's that's. Definitely possible, and I think that look, Superman. Is, Superman is a is a huge is. My, I have said it many times. Is it my favorite. He's, fave. he's my favorite, and I, I he's like my second Steel. favorite. Who do you like? Uh, How to Train Your Dragon for? <laughs> yeah. um, but I think that they just have. They haven't cracked it. They haven't cracked it yet, and I think that they still need to bring it back. They will. I love that idea. There were so many different. Directors circle the Matthew Vaughn thing for a while, and there's it's all these different people circulating around it. Let's yeah. just make it happen. I know that that that's what I was wondering. You know, you read the report that he's like demanding script approval, director approval, yeah, be a yeah, producer. Yeah. What and then are this you is, using the word demanding, or the articles no, are? The article was mm. is that yeah. Henry Cavill is demanding these things, and they were referencing Aquaman. And so when Frosty is debunking it, reaches out to their people saying it's categorically untrue. Yeah. I just wonder what that means. Negotiations still happening. Yeah, They're well, still trying to figure it out. And I and, and a lot of times, I can't tell you. I've been on the phone with people who said that's not true, and it's been true for certain things. And like that is studio, studios absolutely. will lie to you. Yes, they will. And like a lot, if they don't want certain things out, they will. St- I, I remember having a conversation. It was a stupid story. It's about uh, what's that movie that Chris Pine did with. Um, was it the, F- the Finest Hours? That was the name of it? Finest Hours, yeah. yeah. So we, when we were doing Schmozo.com. I think I liked that one. It was fine. Okay. It was, it was small. It was a Disney movie. And it was a, it was a, small, it was a small movie. Not the biggest story, right? But it was, I had gotten, we, we used to get these reports. We used to find out, like, we used to get break scoops on Schmozo.com all yeah. the time. And we got some big ones. Um, like when Fuqua was announced to direct Magnificent, uh, Magnificent Seven. Seven. We got all that stuff first. So I got this report that Chris Pine was going to star in this movie. And it, it just happened. So they didn't want it out there. I called Disney to, to double check, and I said, "Hey, um, I just want to call him from Schmoes.com. Got this report that you know they, that they that he signed and he's doing." It's like that is untrue. That is not happening. He has not been in talks for this movie. The next day, they announced that he was in it, yeah. Yeah. and they wanted somebody else to 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 release it. So it's it it happens. So I, that's not to say that that's what's happening right now. Right. We we don't know. I just I'm I'm looking at this report as just yeah. being a little bit promising for a potential yeah. that Henry Cavill will be back and there will be a Man yeah. of Steel too. That's just why I always when the fan the fans will always believe it's funny because the fans will accuse people of of being uh, whether they're shells or whatever for companies, but they are the first ones to believe any th- report that comes out. <laughs> yeah, like if you say if you say hey I don't think so and so are getting along because I know I've heard some stuff and then there's a report that says oh you know I love it I love the script I love everything about it see. They love each other. You were wrong. It's like no, they're doing PR, motherfucker. It's like it's like don't just believe control. everything that you read. It's like maybe sometimes people know shit and it's never getting out. There are things I'll tell you right now. There are things that I've heard that I can never talk about. Like what? Ever. <laughs> right. I can <laughs> never talk about it. And and it, there's certain times that people write to me and they go, "See, Harlow, you're wrong." I was like, if I told you what I knew, you would be like. I don't believe you. I, I kind of. Oh my God, is that true? 
But you they just probably have a there's question just for you. Some things you can't, and that's yeah. that's out there all the fucking time. And it's mm-hmm. out there all the time, and it's just a matter of what the studio is going to say. They what they want out there, they control it. They have a lot of money. I immediately, got, I immediately got because I'm a Superman fan because I want this. I got tagged on Twitter saying, "Can you believe this guy, Henry Cavill, demanding these things? What do you think?" And I'm like, "You're like now you're upset at Henry Cavill for right. this? Like, let's how dare he demand?" Let's let's calm down, you know. And then I'm right. looking at this report, going, "Well, actually, I wanted to." And then I went on with my life. Yeah, it's the problem with the internet. It's yeah. the problem with the internet is because it's like people are strong, very strong here. Mm-hmm. It's like right away, this, right now, screaming and yelling, and doing whatever the fuck they're doing. <laughs> it's it's hard, also, off what you just said. People were getting mad at what Chris Hemsworth and whoever from Star Trek what, when everything was going on down there. Or want money? You mean? Uh, yeah. Be- oh, yeah. Hemsworth and Pine. And yeah. Pine. Right. Right. People are like, can you believe the audacity? It's like these are business people. Also, you're, yeah, you're. Right. Can I believe that Henry Cavill wants to be a producer on a movie that kind of you know he's had some issues with? Yeah. Yes, I can believe right, that. Yeah. Not only can I believe that, but I'm in support of whatever he thinks he has to do as a businessman. Yes, and you know why? Also, because he has his finger on the pulse. He also is paying attention to what the audience wants. The audience clearly wants Cavill back as Superman, and he's paying attention to that, so he can use that mm-hmm. inside of the negotiations because. And they poll, trust me, Warner Brothers polls, and they figure out, oh, shit, they really want this dude back. Okay, it just happened. He went on Instagram two days ago. He's like, I'm at the gym working out next to a giant Superman yeah. statue of his, himself. And then this report comes out. There is like, literally, he goes out and does this. He's, he, he, look, he is Savvy. very, he's in tune with social media. He's yeah. in tune with it. And I love that, it. And you got it. That's Vin Diesel, The Rock, Henry Cavill. These are people who know how to use their social media, and they can use it to negotiate business. And it's a smart way to do it, and it's a clever way to do it, and they've been doing it, and they've been using it, and that's – he will do another Superman movie. It will happen. Um, when, I, I don't, I don't know. know about that. I'm not sure that he will, but I hope so. It, I'm not even his biggest fan as Superman, but finally we started to get to see the Superman that I wanted to see in him. Like we just oh, got that just little sleep. tease. Yeah. So now I'm in. Right. You guys finally got me. Took you three movies of his, and I'm finally in. And now yes. we don't now, yeah. That's the thing. Yeah, you can just go, just make a Superman movie. Yep. Yeah. You don't like. You can reference things from Man of Steel, but just you could just. Drop him right in. We know exactly where he is right now. He yeah. saved the world. Justice League happened. Aquaman's underwater saving the world. He can go He's in the alive. Sky. Yeah. He's alive. <laughs> so there's that. So there's that. I wanted them to tie, I wanted them to tie in that thing when, when Superman had got uh, shot into the water and then the, the, you hear the whale sound. You know, people always thought that it was yeah. Aquaman who was helping him. I, I wanted know. them to tie I that in there. I was so hoping they yeah. would. Especially Wasn't because cool? I know that they must have known that because so many people were talking yeah. about it. I wonder why they didn't. It, it's this, it's the Star Wars syndrome. It's the same thing. There's so many times where they're like, oh, they should tie this, they should do that, they should do that, and they'd never do it. It's yeah. like every time someone says, do you think this person will be in it? No. At this point, I used to, when you go back and you watch old episodes of Jedi Council, I'm like, it'd be great if Mara Jade showed up. It'd be great if this person... No, not gonna happen. No, nope. they just they don't they don't want to do it. For some reason, they just they do not want to to reward fans that way. I don't know what 